Welcome back to Movies TV Mad. You can follow me on Twitter at Movies TV Mad. So Jason Momoa is teasing a huge DC project that's made him really happy. He's standing there on Instagram. He's blowing a kiss to someone called Maestro. This apparently has made Jason very, very happy. Now, no surprise to me, he then goes on an interview to promote his latest project on Entertainment Tonight, talking about that project again, saying he's excited about James Gunn and Peter Saffron running DC Universe, and there's a huge project coming that he's really excited about. So because of this, it's clear, it's clear to me that Jason Momoa didn't just get up yesterday morning and go, oh my God, this is happening. I'm going to go on my socials and talk about this. Clearly, the studio want him to talk about this. It's something they want him to hype up. Now, another thing that's not a surprise to me, multiple scoopers have been on social media claiming they know exactly what Jason Momoa is hyping up. A Justice League 2, no, not directed by Zack Snyder, but directed by Flash movie director Andy Machete. Now, I have seen a, a very early test screening of The Flash. He has done an extremely good job. I have no issue with, with Andy Machete directing a Justice League 2 instead of Zack Snyder. I'd also be very excited if Zack returned. I'm okay with either scenario, but I don't trust bloggers when they react to something from an official source like Jason Momoa and start saying, well, it's a Justice League 2, you know, directed by Andy Machete. So luckily for you guys, I have some knowledge um, historically of Walter Hamada's Justice League 2 plans. So originally, yes, that's right. His friend and confident and, and, you know, former partner at New Line Cinema, Andy Machete, who he got to direct the Flash movie and said, right, this is the movie I want you to direct and I want you to do it that way. Yes, he had planned on Andy Machete directing a Justice League 2. That is factual, my friends. That was exactly what that was going to happen. Right, let me repeat myself. Walter Hamada wanted Andy Machete to direct Justice League 2. That's what was actually going to happen. So what scoopers are doing is they're not necessarily lying, they're just taking old news and using it as new news. Now I don't trust them. I don't believe that they know that Andy Machete is still going to direct Justice League 2. Now, it could be a thing where Andy Machete is in fact directing Justice League 2. I don't know if Andy Machete is still going to direct Justice League 2. But when Jason Momoa starts hyping up something huge and all of a sudden scoopers like KC Walsh who hates Snyder and hates his fans comes out and starts talking about Andy Machete directing a Justice League 2. Again, let me elaborate that I'm quite happy for Andy to be doing this. There's, I don't know anything about Andy that tells me he can't direct a great Justice League 2. I just don't believe it's true. Now I believe that David Zaslav, James Gunn, Pam Abney, Mike DeLuca, you know, Peter Saffron all want to go big with the DC Universe as soon as possible because of the predicament Warner Brothers Discovery is in financially. They need to make money and they need to make money fast but they also want to be a company that listens to fans and their customer and their consumer. This is why you've got the big PR post from James Gunn responding to bring back Legends of Tomorrow and release the air cut. They want, us be, they want you to believe that they're the people who will listen to you, not always give you what you want, but they'll always listen. You'll always be seen, right? And this is what James Gunn tried to say and I genuinely believe that they will always listen because James Gunn has always listened to fans it doesn't mean he's always done in his movies what you wanted him to do and that's not the point you shouldn't and I shouldn't be able to dictate what happens in a film we can make our wishes you know we can tell them what we want 
Sometimes they'll give us what we want. And sometimes they have their own visions and their own directives and they simply can't do that. So do I believe that this is true? That Andy Machete is still directing a Justice League 2? No, I don't. But I could be wrong. Do I believe that they're getting ready to announce a Justice League 2? You bet your bottom dollar that it's a Justice League 2 or, look, it's not going to be a Justice League 2 if Zack Snyder's not involved. I mean, listen, we're going to a new DC universe, so it's just going to be a Justice League movie with an expansive title next to it. Justice League this or Justice League that. So it's not a Justice League sequel if Snyder's not involved. Now, could they do a sequel to Zack Snyder's Justice League with somebody else involved? If they do that, they're going to upset the Snyder fans and they're going to cause negativity. That's the last thing they want to do. Zack Snyder's Justice League only continues if Zack is directing the movie. And how likely is that? Not very likely, but when Jason Momoa is so hyped about something, and, he, and because of his connection and love to Zack and Deb Snyder, you assume this is the only reason he would be excited. But we do know that Walter Hamada and um, Toby Emmerich did cancel a Trench movie that James Wan was going to direct. The Trench was a big creature, it's a big place with scary creatures and all of that. We saw it in the first Aquaman film. Could it be he's just excited about a Trench movie happening? As I said on my DC Universe Daily Live today, because of Jason's connection to Zack, when you start hyping something so highly, people are going to add one and one and get six billion. And so you don't want to give people a false impression because people are naive. People are innocent and they trust celebrities. They trust directors. They trust James Gunn and Peter Saffron. You know, these people are trusted because they're in big positions in society and in the entertainment industry. So I think it's a little bit unfair that, you know, if people are being led to believe Snyder's coming back when he's not. But it may not be about that anyway. It could be about, you know, Ben Affleck's Batman movie being made finally. Could that be a thing? I don't know. Could Ray Fisher be returning as Cyborg? Well, let's be clear what Jason Momoa actually said. He was actually speaking about a project a DC project. We know that now because when he did the Instagram video, he wasn't specific if it was about DC or something else. Well, in the Entertainment Tonight thing, he was very specific in that interview, saying it's a DC project he's really excited about. And if Jason's excited, I'm excited. This can only be a good thing. And I think it's great that he's hyping this up and the studio want him to hype this thing up. I think it's great that we've got James Gunn and Peter Saffron running DC Studios and David Zaslav has implemented these great things and he's brought back Henry Cavill's Superman. Win after win after win. But talk is cheap, right? And ultimately, I'm hoping the hype, you know, I'm hoping the content is as good as the hype. And I'm sure it will be. So will we find out rather sooner rather than later about this stuff, this project that, that, Jason, that Jason Momoa is teasing? I guess by the end of the year, we will. And I think it's important because it's like having that Christmas present or birthday present. Someone saying to you, it's what you've always wanted. Well, can I open it? Can I open it? And you can't. So we want to open this present as soon as possible. And so, finally, what do I think it is? Clearly, it's a huge project. It's being teased as a huge project. They're clearly very excited and can't wait to announce it. So it's clearly a Justice League movie or some kind of movie along those lines. We know that they were planning a final crisis under Hamada. It still could be that or something else. It could be a JSA movie meets Justice League meets the Suicide Squad, something that Hamada was kind of planning with the Suicide Squad and the Justice League. It could be absolutely anything. But this 
will be the only place where you get genuine reaction about those revelations. This has been Movies TV Mad. I am Mick, your host with the most. Just ask your girlfriends and your wives. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you never miss this beautiful perfection. And you'll see me again when I'm live tonight. So be there or be square. Until you see me again, goodbye, au revoir, auf Wiedersehen.